turn it over to Mr. M to introduce our first student. All right, our first student is Mr. Austin Apgar. He's been in the percussion section in the marching band since middle school a long time ago and has participated in concert, jazz, indoor percussion, pep band, and the musical. And he's also served as a band officer. So here is Austin. All right, Austin, let us know where you're going. Um, hello, so I'm going to be joining the US Army and I'm going to be, become a wheeled vehicle mechanic. And I'm going to continue doing band and probably join one of the 88 US Army bands that they have to offer. Okay. All right, Nick has been a major team player in the band um, ever since he's joined. He's played a variety of instruments, um, too many to list. Um, and he's also served as a pit section leader this year. He's been in concert band, jazz band, marching band, pet band. And also I know Mrs. Williams had a quick work for him. I met Nick his freshman year where his ability to quickly learn to read music and play the piano led me to suggest that he play in the marching band. And that's where he started on mallets. And then he decided to learn just about every instrument in the band uh, while continuing to sing with madrigal singers and choir. Uh, Nick, let us know what lucky school is going to obtain your talents. Hi, um, I will be going to Westchester and I'm planning on doing the margin band there and hopefully majoring in music education. Cooper Davis, baseball player. Uh, and coach said a lot of great things about Cooper. He's put in so much work this winter and coach was so excited to see him play this spring. Unfortunately, we were unable to do that. But the good news is we're gonna be able to see him play next spring. Let's find out where from Cooper. Uh, I will be attending Buck County Community College to major in exercise science. And I chose this school because I really like the location of it. It's pretty close to home. Uh, the size of the campus is nice and they have really good athletics programs. And uh, I would like to thank my amazing teammates and coaches for helping me get to this point. Uh, but most importantly, I would like to thank my parents for their nonstop love and support for me. All right. So Gray started way back in sixth grade as a banner carrier for the marching band and made her way all the way up through being drum major for the past two years in marching band. She's been a major success, part of our success because of her leadership style for a couple years. Uh, she's been in concert, jazz, and the musical, and also participated in orchestra. So Grace, tell us where you're going. Okay. Um, I'm going to West Virginia University to major in Forensic and Investigative Science with a minor in Criminology. And I plan on possibly joining the marching band there in my sophomore year. I just want to get a handle on things first and participating in other band activities, as well as returning to the high school in the summers to help with the band program. Our next student is Amy Fries. Amy is a cross country and track athlete. She's the epitome of a student athlete. Amy does everything with a passion. She works hard in school and on the track and on the cross country course. She's the top of the class with a 4.0 GPA. Her coaches say that she performs her best in the biggest races, finishing 35th at the PIAA state meet. She's a reliable teammate that was an integral part of the multiple 4x4 and 4x800 medal winning relay team. She's a perceptive, committed, and caring leader who captained her teams with humility and strength. Let's hear more from Amy about her future plans. Thank you for that. Thank you for those kind words. Um, I will be attending Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute for the fall 2020 semester. As academics are incredibly important to me, I've chosen to attend RPI for their excellent engineering program in addition to research opportunities. And I will also be allowed to continue my cross country and track career there. I'd like to extend a huge thank you to my entire family for their constant support on both my academic and sports careers and just the entire cross country and track and athletic program. I've had wonderful coaches in Mr. Antone and Mr. Kelman and just the whole community. All of the parents and students are so supportive of each other. I've never been part of an organization that's just so supportive of each other. So thank you to everyone. All right, Emma Flinchbaugh has been a very dedicated musician in the concert, jazz and musicals, performing many solos throughout the year and was a huge help this year in helping our brand new ninth grade flute players. Emma, please let us know where you're going. 
Um, I'm going to Lehigh University uh, to major in psychology and marketing. And at Lehigh, I hope to join some of the jazz ensembles and possibly the symphonic band. Hi, I've known Ash since he was born. All right, so we have we have a long uh, history together, and uh, I've been following him in his musical journey from elementary through middle school, and then once he got to the high school, uh, joining choir and band, and uh, he's been an active member of the choral programs, being selected for county, district, regional, and all state honors choirs. Uh, we're really going to miss his tenor voice um inquire and his compassion for everyone uh ash tell us where you're going and how you continue to share your musical talents hi um i i'm going to drexel university to major in data science and i plan on joining an acapella group there um and that's about it <laughs> zoe ganeshevsky uh, she's been a Palisades cheerleader for all four years of her high school career, and she earned a spot as a senior, as a captain. Coach Fritz said, Coach Fitz said her natural talent, dedication, love for the sport will carry her far in her future endeavors. Not only is Zoe a strong athlete, she's a leader in the classroom. All the coaches wish Zoe the best and know that she's going to do great things. Let's find out where. I'm going to Southern uh, Charleston Southern University, which is located in South Carolina, and I plan to um, do their cheerleading program and major in mathematics. It's not every day that um, as a school or an athletic department, we can announce that we have an Olympic athlete graduating. Uh, if Addison wasn't currently injured and this was an Olympic year, she would have been competing in the Winter Olympics, which is absolutely amazing. Addison's, gonna, Addison's going to college to pursue her nursing program and also continue her Olympic snowboard training. So Addison's going to be attending Westminster College in Salt Lake City, Utah, which is about 20 minutes from the training facility where she'll be part of the U.S. ski and snowboard team. So we congratulate Addison and hopefully she will be ready to go for the next Winter Olympics. Uh, Tim has grown immensely over the last four years and I could not be prouder of his accomplishments in both choir and theater. Uh, Tim is also a county chorus honoree. And Tim, let us know where you plan to go to college and how you'll be continuing your music and theater. Uh, I'll be attending Wesleyan University in Connecticut, and I plan to continue uh, my uh, music journey uh, by participating in student musical theater groups. So the next athlete, uh, student athlete, is Sarah Grimm, cheerleader. Um, according to her coach, she is a very vibrant cheerleader. She is a very entertaining to watch, and she performed. Her performances were extremely hard. Sarah definitely had her share of injuries, which always set her back, but never got her down, and she bounced right back. The World Cup Shooting Stars was very lucky to have her and is going to miss her. Sarah, you want to let everybody know where you're headed? Uh, yes. Um, I will be attending the University of Colorado Boulder to continue my academic and training career, and I'll be majoring in journalism. Um, a few people I'd like to thank. Um, I'd like to thank my family, although they are not all here right now. I'd like to thank all my friends, all my coaches, and all my past coaches, all of my teammates. Um, I want to give a quick shout out to my best friend, Ashley Bellamy, who's currently watching this. <laughs> um, and just, and all of my teachers who helped me to survive high school. And just everyone who has supported me, I'm super excited. All right, our next person is Jamie Hallman. Ever since she joins sixth grade, I knew she was going to be an incredible performer for the Color Guard. She was involved in marching band, indoor guard, and was the vice president for the band. She's going, she's going to Elizabethtown College. Erin Hooper. Um, met Erin uh, in theater camp when she was in middle school and saw such huge potential in her. And she's shown amazing leadership in our alto section and choir madrigals and on the stage in all of our fall plays and musicals. Something you might not know about Erin, she also writes her own songs and she is a fabulous arranger of a cappella music as well. Uh, she's been a county chorus member all four years of high school. And Erin, we want to know who's lucky enough to get you to share your amazing talents with them next year. Um, so I'm gonna be going to Westchester University uh, to 
go to secondary education in English. And there's a lot of exciting opportunities at Westchester for music that I'm really excited to uh, be a part of. All right, Alex Leonberg, he has been a rock star in terms of being a solid member in the percussion section. Uh, this year he served um, yeah. as a media manager and big help getting our new bass percussionist trained this year. Alex, please let us know where you're going. Um, I will be attending Shenandoah University. Um, plan on majoring in virtual reality design. And I hope to join the pep band because they don't have a marching band. Hi, Anna. Um, again, I met Anna in ninth grade as a member of Freshman Chorus. And Anna started out as a very shy ninth grader. And I have enjoyed watching her bloom over the past four years uh, into becoming a madrigal singer and having leading roles in the past two musicals. Looks like Anna's headed to Penn State University. Yes, and uh, she might run into Kelly Hooper, Aaron's sister, who is the president of the choir at Penn State. So uh, perhaps Anna can join that group and uh, also become involved with the theatrical productions there. Awesome. Maddie's smile absolutely lights up a room when she walks in and her enthusiasm for music and theater is evident whenever she's performing and when she's rehearsing as well. I'm so proud of how far Maddie has grown vocally and sincerely hope that she will continue to sing, dance and act at the college uh, level. It looks like she's majoring in business at Belmont and uh, she's following uh, in the footsteps of another Palisades grad, um, Chris Marks, who went to uh, Belmont to major in music. So I'm hoping that she they have an excellent music program that Maddie is going to continue there. Cassie Smith, Mitch, uh, her nickname, which was interesting for me to find out, was Sassy Cassie. And Coach Chilton explains it because her nickname describes her pretty well because she's full of energy, confidence, spirited, and a bit cheeky at times. She was smart enough not to talk back to the refs, but Mr. Chilton said if looks could be red carded, she would have missed a few games. He stepped up as a leader this year and helped keep the team positive, even when things were not looking its brightest. Cassie loves soccer, and that's obvious to anyone who plays with her. She's sure going to be missed. Let's find out where she's taking her talents. I plan to attend Rock Haven University, and I'm going to major in athletic training. I chose this college because of the area, the athletics, and the opportunities. I would like to thank my parents for helping me reach this point and also my coaches for all the help and support they gave me through my soccer career. It's Ava Moser for field hockey. Uh, Coach Gardner said she had the pleasure of coaching Ava the past four years and saw tremendous growth. Her level of play peaked during her senior year and was a key contributor to the team. Ava's hard work in the off season shown and she matured into the player she is today. She will be an asset to her collegiate team and we all can't wait to see what she accomplishes at the next level. Let's find out where. Ava? Hi, I'm from the University of Charlotte. I chose Queens because it felt like home and it's down south. I'd like to thank all my parents, family, and coaches for getting me here today. Um, so being a new teacher last year, I've only gotten to work with Lauren for the past two years. Um, but through that time, she's definitely shown a quiet leadership, um, demonstrating good rehearsal etiquette and behaviors for the younger students. And I've also gotten to see her grow as a musician and develop into a more confident player. So now we're going to hear from Lauren. Hi, I'm going to college at Ursinus College and I will be majoring in media and communications. Jamie, uh, as a ninth grader, it was the first time I met her and she shocked us all with this big voice <laughs> coming out of a tiny little person. And uh, she's continued to amaze us with her talents as a jazz band soloist, a soprano leader, choir president, member of Madrigal Singers. Uh, she's been a member of County Chorus, District Chorus, and was selected for all state jazz choir two years in a row. I'm so excited for Jamie to tell you her future plans. Hello, um, I'm going to be attending uh, New York. Yeah, I'm going to be attending uh, New York University. Um, 
uh, and major in music education. And I definitely want to do stuff with jazz. They have an amazing jazz choir and um, join a cappella groups and do some vocal performance there as well. Um, I like to thank my amazing family and also the entire music department, um, Mrs. Williams, Mr. M, Zach Hardy, he's the uh, stage manager uh, for the musical. Uh, they are just my second family and I'm so thankful. So thank you. All right, next up is Colby Pentecost. He's been in the percussion section in the marching band since middle school and has performed in concert, jazz, indoor percussion, pep band, and the musical. He's also served as our percussion section leader and has grown so much as a percussionist. Um, Colby, please let us know where you're going. Uh, so I'm going to Mansfield University for nursing and I plan to um, attend the march or be in the marching band and jazz band. So yeah. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so Caitlin has been a valuable member of our viola section. Um, she's always been very dedicated and a responsible member of the orchestra. And over the past two years, again, I've gotten to see her grow musically and we're going to lose a great viola player. So let's hear from Caitlin now. Um, I will be attending Susquehanna University and I'm going to be majoring in neuroscience and minoring in psychology. Uh, Alex Rodriguez, as a ninth grader, used to pop into my music room consistently wanting to learn how to play the piano, but he wasn't in any music classes. So we made sure we got him involved the following year and he really shone at uh, singing and playing the piano. He joined the musicals. Uh, this year, his senior year, he took our theory class. And um, I'm really going to miss his sweet disposition and his coffee house songs. Yeah, I know he was going for music technology and recording at Albright College. Yep, Brooklyn Santo, she's been a solid member of the marching band since she joined, uh, transferred over from Oklahoma. She's been in the band for two years playing flute and piccolo. Um, she's performed with the concert band, marching band, and the pep band, and she also served as our band president this year. She's going to the Metro Beauty Academy uh, for cosmetology, but I know she's planning to try to play as well, um, and that's Brooklyn Santos. All right, William Schultz, he has been an incredible member of the percussion section. He's performed with concert band, jazz band, marching band, pep band, and indoor percussion. Um, he also served as a band officer this year. Will, please tell us where you're headed. Hi, my name is William Schultz, and I will be attending the Catholic University of America in the fall of 2020. I intend on majoring in political science, and music-wise, I hope to um, participate in some of the ensembles and utilize the music department to advance my digital music production. I'd like to thank all of my teachers and instructors at Palisades for their wonderful work and dedication, and for all of you students who are here attending this meeting. I've gotten the chance to know most of you um, personally, and it's been wonderful having a high school experience with you. I couldn't have asked for anything more. Okay, Bobby Snyder, basketball player. Uh, Bobby is our three-point record holder and was named to the VIA All-Star Game. Coach Ham said he had the privilege of coaching Bobby through the Palisades high school season, summer basketball season, and AAU season. Coach said that Bobby put in the work necessary to make the trans transition to the college level. By signing today, he has achieved his goal by becoming a college basketball player. Let's find out where Bobby's going to fill that goal. Bobby? Uh, I will be going to Rosemont College. Um, got the hat here. Yeah! <laughs> hey, Bobby! Um, yeah, I'm going to be going there to major in communications and continue my basketball career. Um, yeah, I would like to thank my family, coaches, teammates, and everyone who's got me there, especially um, my coach Phil. He has uh, done everything he could to get me to the best school possible where he thought I would fit in well. And um, my sister Sarah, my mom, grandparents, they've been there for all my ups and downs throughout every time I've played basketball. So, yeah, that's it. Uh... All right. Ethan has been a very dedicated trumpet and mellophone player in the band. He's been participating in concert band and marching band. Um, Ethan was also a featured soloist for this year's marching band show. He's going to Emory Riddle on um, uh, yeah Emory Middle, Riddle um, in the fall. 
Hi, Joe, Joe, Joe. I also met Joe in middle school theater camp one summer, and I was impressed with his leadership abilities and how he, uh, some of the younger kids that would get, you know, just a little out of line. Uh, he and Ash Foster were so good at bringing them into the circle and doing what they're supposed to do. So I am really pleased that Joe has been a part of our music program and our theater program for the last four years. He's been a foundation in choir and theater and uh, your dedication to excellence will be greatly missed and uh, greatly appreciated at your next adventure. Looks like Joe's going to be attending Kutztown University. Thank you, uh, Mr. M, Mrs. Williams, Ms. Cobb. And again, congratulations to all the student athletes, their parents, family, friends.